It's going to be an odd atmosphere, Perry, isn't it? I mean, you can't, you don't get many games where you get a flavour of that. I mean, we sort of did watch in the Old Firm Derby the other day when it's, you know, if you've got one set of fans in the stadium. And you could see at half-time, with Rangers not playing that well and 2-0 down, I mean, they gave it to them. I mean, imagine it's quite... It, I mean, it's unlikely, let's be honest, the way Arsenal are playing. But if they were to make a bad start, and buy them at it, and we've got two new up after 20 minutes. When it is just a completely partisan crowd, you know, maybe the players will feed off the anxiety a bit, but, I mean, that's a big if. Yeah, know? well, also, like, the Arsenal fans won't be able to wave at any other fans or they were over in the far corner of the Emirates at the no. clock end. You know, just like, say hello with different fingers, mats, yeah, fingers or whatever, so you won't be able to do that. Um, you miss, I think you kind of, having away fans there adds to an atmosphere. I mean, you know, you'll take it, uh, having all your own fans at the ground, that's great. Well, so actually the atmosphere at the Emirates last season, this season, is, is the best it's ever been. Yeah. Like, because um, of synergy between the fans and the players yeah. and like the North London Forever anthem, obviously the Champions League anthem as well, but North London, that comes on. And it's, absolutely vibrant and I think even the difference is even if we go nil-nil for about 20-25 minutes or we go one nil down the, you don't hear the like the moans and you know you can hear the moans and groans yeah. and the sort of the dissatisfaction of fans they trust the go, to get they, yeah, you, you get more of a galvanising come on yeah. and it's like whoa it's, it's like pretty special Yeah, and also if the Ar- Arsenal fans want to vent their spleen and, and Harry Kane and Eric Dyer, yeah, so they I mean, could be getting he comes like double up, bubble. It probably won't bother him; he just get on with it. Nah. But you can hear the songs, can not you? Oh, Harry, Harry went to Bayern Munich and he's won very little. All I'd paraphrase. say, I mean, he might get that tonight because it, obviously Leverkusen are probably going to seal it at the weekend. Yeah, but I would say to the Arsenal fans on that song particular, yeah, keep your powder dry. Okay, wait until if we do go maybe two new up. Then you maybe sing it because if because he, he's got a brilliant record, I think he's scored fourteen goals yeah. against Arsenal in, in, in nineteen games. So he's got a fantastic record against us. He so, scored yeah. some. He scored some great goals against yeah. Arsenal. As and well. you don't I mean, not necessarily at, uh, at the Emirates, but but what was well, you don't want to um, inspire somebody. Yeah, and they feed up like the top players, the pantomime villains. They feed off that. The best yeah. thing ever when I say you know players return into former clubs or like you know how can is apathy. That's yeah. the best thing is just not to like acknowledge or engage. Do you know what I mean? Because it would be, it would be like I'm going to show you. Um, yeah, so it'll be the atmosphere will be like electric tonight, and it'll be interesting to see because I can remember being there when uh, Cone in the Europa League mm. took like thirty eight thousand at the Emirates. And they, yeah, they were that was, marched that, that was unofficially stadium. though. That's never that's not really talked about. Do you no. know what I mean? Because you you know you now the most fans away fans that have been there is nine thousand well, for the FA Cup in that game. And we've seen it. I've seen it in sort of UEFA in Europa League games or UEFA Cup games when you get like Polish clubs. So when you've got a lot of expats living in this country, they're popping up all over the stadium. Yeah. You'll expect some Bayern fans. There'll be a couple of little tiny pockets of them. I mean, they shouldn't be there, but. I can't believe if Bayern did score, you won't hear a roar from somewhere. Somehow they're going to get all the tickets. Yeah, they? yeah and just a few of them. I think what they've because obviously the extra three thousand that have gone like on sale because the Bayern fans aren't there. Yeah, Arsenal have issued and said if any because th- th- there's a temptation because the ticket prices if yeah, you did yeah. get them are going to be through the roof. Mm. And if you get found out that you've sold your ticket, they'll or take your ticket they'll, away. They'll, they'll, yeah, exactly. And yeah. Because they'll get in trouble with UEFA, probably Arsenal, if there's too many yeah, there. So and it's a knock-on effect. You don't want to lose your ticket because there's a 96,000 on the waiting list for a season ticket at a minute. Yeah. So you don't want to be losing that. They're like gold dust, aren't they? So, um. well, we, 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 we were talking with Danny uh, Kelly, Esther, myself and Andy, about sort of habits, and it's a bit of a frustration for uh, Andy because, you know, he, he thought... You know, he, he thought Havertz was a was yeah you know, player that can have three or four games and then go quiet. And he thought Jorginho was a busted flush. But Arteta seems to be getting a tune out of both of them now, doesn't he? Was you, was you a bit doubtful about no Havertz when they signed him? You always thought it was a no. bit of business. Yeah, not good, but it was a strange one because everybody knew that we needed like a centre forward. Yeah, and then we went and got David Raya as well as a goalkeeper, and people thought, well, why do you need a goalkeeper? Aaron Ramsdale, but obviously Mikel Arteta thought that David Raya was a step up from Aaron Ramsdale, and if Amram's got injured, you needed someone of that quality to come in. So I sort of got that. The Kai Havertz one, when I was watching him play, I've seen him play for Chelsea, obviously, and I'm watching him play for us earlier. You look, I used to look at him and think, there's a player in there. Mm. And even when he was getting stick to begin the season, they tried to play him in that Granite Zaka inside left sort of role. And you could tell his confidence was shot to bits. So it's the coaching that he's got from Arteta. It's like the arm around the shoulder and the environment that Arteta's created 
at Arsenal where you actually you've seen him actually flourish and you've seen him actually he was playing he's six foot four he was playing like he was five foot four mm. because he's a bit huddled up now if you look at him now he's playing like he's six foot four when the ball goes into him he's holding it up that sort of false nine alongside Odegaard when we're out of possession we go to four four two basically um, and he's got a good understanding of Odegaard if you see him now he's little one and two touch layoffs and flicks and, and passes coming off so I, I think it's a testament to Arteta actually sticking with him and going no we know that you can mm. um like perform for us and there's there a stat which is people wouldn't realize he's closing down is unbelievable because of, when i looked at his stat he's got he had 374 high intensity presses so when we press he's the one who sets it off now you wouldn't associate that with kai no, Havertz, would you no, absolutely because he's more of a a, well, a floater sort mm. of drifting sort of player so he's bought into that, right, you set the press off, then Odegaard goes, then if Declan Rice is backing you up. So I just think it's, you know, say it's the environment that he's in. And he's scoring goals now as well. Yeah. And he's not snatching at chances, where he's snatching at chances before. I have a little subplot tonight, is that Joshua Kimmich, who will obviously start right back, you would imagine, tonight for Bayern, has been linked to Arsenal. So uh, it's a chance for the fans to have a look at someone who could be coming next year. I mean, he's, I mean, he's a very good player. I mean, maybe he's... He's ready for a move now, but he's someone who can play midfield as well. Very adaptable. He could be, could be good, couldn't he? Yeah, well, he can go in that inverted, like, right back into midfield, like Zinchenko does from yeah. left back in there. But I have to say, we've got Tommy Asu, um, obviously, who's, ben like, White. right back. Ben White, who's been... He's not far off being one of the Arsenal players this season. Because yeah. he, he's Is he going to make it tonight? He looked quite badly injured at the weekend when he went down. Well, I'm not being funny. If you're floored by like a George Foreman haymaker, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm, so, I'm surprised he got up at an eight count, to be honest. <laughs> that was, that was something like, else, wasn't it? You're like, Ben, mate, what are you yeah. doing? You know what I mean? I know it's, there's housery and you know, yeah. try and get someone else sent off, but um, maybe uh, a little bit... With the cameras now, you just... I mean, you... Uh, uh, Everybody can see the force of something like that. There's so many angles on it. If someone barely gets touched and goes down, it's like, oh, come on. Yeah, but up. also it was a delayed, wasn't it? It was yeah. like, oh, he's brushed my face. Yeah. I might be able to get him sent off. Yeah. Unless some of his fake tan came off. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You've got, oh, I'm talking about the wash bag. Yeah. I think someone who's got probably quite a big wash bag would be Ben yeah. White, to be fair. Yeah. But I, he has been outstanding. Um, and that, that yeah. um, little link he's got with Bukayo Saka on the right hand side where Ben White can come and say play in the midfield area. And he's he's uh, defending 1v1. He's one of the few fullbacks that actually goes and presses mm. and stops the crosses. You know how many times you go, you see, go wide areas. Yeah. And I was at Aston Villa on Saturday where Regulon was like yeah. just running down the left-hand side for Brentford and just getting his crosses in. Fullbacks don't go and stop crosses anymore. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.